Bishop Harry Jackson Jr. certainly lived a life dedicated not only to empowering the church, but also to healing racial divides throughout the land. We've got to protect the black family. It's already slipping away from us. And if we don't do something radical, we can't do business as usual. Many African Americans begin to vote their conscience concerning righteousness and justice. We're going to see America changed. He was recruited with his wife Vivian to Beltsville, Maryland to take over Hope Christian Church in 1988. The church's impact is recognized widely in the area of public policy and societal change. Bishop Jackson met with many members of Congress, was at the White House numerous times, and gave a biblical worldview to leaders of Washington, D.C. and the nation. I'd like to introduce Bishop Harry Jackson from Maryland, highly respected gentleman who is a member of our faith and a person that we have tremendous respect for. Bishop, please. Thank, Thank you, Mr. President. He was truly a man of hope. In 2005, Bishop Jackson was diagnosed with stage three cancer and given a 15% chance of survival. He told his oldest daughter, I would win no matter what happened. If what I preach was true, death would bring me into the Lord's presence. And uh, Tom, I think you all have been doing a great job. And uh, I didn't let Kathy talk or judge my dear friend, uh, but y'all need to know I appreciate you and we thank God for all uh, you're doing. Though he recovered then, Bishop Jackson has now won and is reaping the rewards of a life spent in service for the Lord. TCT honors the extraordinary life of Bishop Harry Jackson, Jr.